Hi, this is a continuation of my previous video. In the previous video, I had already installed Airbnb TypeScript and opinionated ES plugin. In this video, I want to show you another opinionated plugin called ESLint plugin Unicorn. This is even more opinionated, it's more specific, uh, talking about uh, using a specific uh, methods and uh, file names, things like that, which was not there in Airbnb. Let me install and set it up. You install and set it up like every other uh, plugin, ESLint plugin. Now that we have installed, let me see some of the errors. By default, you would see this unicorn is expecting it to be in kebab case, but ours is not. It's supposed to be in Pascal case, but so there is this casing issue. What I'll do is for now, let me check. Okay, first let me check this particular rule in Unicorn's README. Okay, this is the rule. I want to also support camel case, pastel case, not just kebab case. So what this will do is it will fix this error. So I don't see any more error asking me to change the file. Let me see another uh, use case. Here, Unicorn is expecting me to not use for each and to prefer for off. I personally don't like this rule. I would rather prefer for each uh, map and reduce uh, the functional way of doing things. But this is not a functional way of doing things. I want to turn off this rule. So I will turn off this rule. I actually, there is a plugin called ESLint FP, functional programming plugin, but it's too opinionated, it's too restrictive, so that is why I don't use that plugin. Uh, otherwise, I would have allowed to see some flexible functional programming ESLint plugin. Okay, let me turn off this particular rule. Now that I have turned off the rule, the error is gone. Let me see some, there is another error. Okay, this error, it talks about abbreviation, which is cool, which is cool. Maybe if you need it, maybe you could have it on, but I don't want it. Like I prefer like the abbreviations and all is something that is obvious. It's like something that people know. So I don't want it to be uh, an error. Let me double check what the exact rule name is. Okay. So prevent hyphen abbreviations. Let me change it. Yeah. This should turn off that particular rule. So I'll go over a different set of rules that are part of Unicorn and uh, customize it to my need. You could see and customize to your need. So these are plenty of couple of pretty good rules are there. So I tend to use this plus new date and it's dissuading me. It's pretty good. Uh, and I don't have to remove a lot of these best practices or style gate. This is enforcing it by itself, which is good. If you see there is a no for loop rule. Let me show you how it's throwing a warning or, or an error. If I hover over the for loop, you will see it will say, okay, not to use for loop and uh, it is suggesting something else. I like this. I, I, I also prefer to not have a for loop in my project and go with this functional way of doing things. Uh, and this is another cool uh, linting uh, check for rejects and this one also which checks, which encourages to use set has. I didn't know it uh, until I uh, saw this particular rule. And this one, this one too, this often have happens. People are not using some, uh, instead they use find or filter, which is not, uh, I mean, it works, but it's th that is a better approach. And also the storage, which you saw. And there is this rule, which I am not a huge fan of. For example, if you are writing a React code, you tend to do a lot of, use a lot of null. Uh, to give you an example, let's say there is some user and the initial state of a user is null and then you are loading the user into your variable. I don't want the wanting to throw no null, like not to use null. See, this is, I don't like this rule. So let me turn off this rule, unicorn slash no null as off. So yeah, let me move on to some other rule. Okay, this is. It doesn't, this particular library, Unicorn, doesn't encourage us to use Reduce. Personally, I prefer using Reduce because I, I have been using some other functional programming languages like Elixir and all. Uh, so I'm so used to the idea of using dot .reduce and also it consistent, like the entire code should be more aligned to its functional language. So I don't like this rule that Reduce has to be turned off. 
I would rather like uh, have it turned off. This particular, let me have this rule turned off. Hmm. Now, okay. Let me again come back to this rule. Okay. So what is happening is we generically allowed camel case and Pascal case. If you notice this unicorn file name case rule, I have set that only to allow camel case and Pascal case. Let me remove it. Yes. Now it is falling back to the default settings of unicorn. If you recall the default setting was it was allowing the kebab case file naming convention. You remember? So creating this particular component abcd.tsx will work fine because it is expecting a kebab style file name. But if I create a component that you we usually create a component in Pascal case and it is throwing an error. It should be the other way around. So what I want to do now is I want to do a folder specific rule. In ESLint it's possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this overrides block inside this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say this particular directory that is every files under this particular src slash components. It should be in Pascal case. And uh, I could uh, use unicorns rule here. One good thing is you could apply any number of rules specific to the directory. It's opening to so much options, so much of opinionated options that you could uh, fall across your team. So this is one example. So I'm putting this unicorn file name case rule here, which will enforce it to be in Pascal case. So it will throw an error if you don't write your component in Pascal. This is working and here is an error. Cool. So no developer in your team or you by mistake will write in a different casing. I also have usually have pages directory in my project and this pages directory I want to style it based on Next.js. In Next.js the components inside pages is kebab style. It's not in Pascal style. So let me create another rule for this particular folder. If for components folder, we wanted it to be in Pascal case, right? But for this particular folder, let's write it in kebab case, but it's not throwing an error weird. Why? Okay. The thing is the default setting is in kebab case, if you recall, but I don't want the default file setting to be in kebab case. Let's say I have components. Uh, sorry, uh, helpers, reducers, fixtures, lot of other different folder. I want the default setting to be in camel case, right? You generally have everything other than your component in camel case. So I wrote a default setting in for the camel case. Now for specific to pages directory alone, I want it to be kebab case. So this is opening so much options. You could, for this specific files, you could target specific rules and now this works fine. Let me check, let me create a file. Let's say in const I'm going to create something like application TS and I hope this is expecting a camel case. So because our default file naming casing is camel case, right? And yeah, let me give some random thing because some of the rule is failing. So yes, it seems to work. So we have successfully used this particular rule to enforce our file naming. In future videos, we will also see how to enforce variable naming of a particular casing and all. But this unicorn is pretty good. You, I would encourage you to look at the other rules and customize to your need. You would have seen how I customize to my need. In the next video, we will see about customizing the amazing ESLint import plugin. I hope you like this video. Thank you.